hours later, we made it. lately so hopefully we get in them pretty good almost got skunked last week so hopefully we'll bring you along get some good footage and see how we do that's enough to get us started. I think that's all Cody's shoulder can take. <laughs> You're a trooper. pretty decent group of fish. Uh, cool thing about this trolling motor is you can make a mark on your graph and um, navigate to it and it'll anchor down right where your mark is. So trolling motor's taking us back. Cody's getting the pool rigged up. Changing from our dead sticking rigs. I'm just hoping to catch fish on my new pole. Cody got me a new pole for Christmas and a new reel. Trica. It's a seven foot, uh, I think it's medium heavy, fast action, and this Abu Garcia striper reel. After a few minutes of scanning, we found a decent group of fish to drop down on. You can see me pulling line out. Um, kind of got a system from the top of the reel to that first die is 18 inches. So every two pulls drops me down three feet. Uh, you just do that until you get your bait down there to the strike zone. And the, if the fish are hungry and your bait's active, it usually doesn't take long. Up in here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there. Good box fish. Guys. <laughs> Good box fish. This has been a long time coming. <sighs> We've had some tough trips down here. Oh, I'm so excited. On the new pole. Oh, yeah. Nice. 
Nice. Maybe I got the only hungry fish down there. <laughs> he hadn't had breakfast yet. We're gonna sit on these fish a few more minutes and see how it goes. One thing, we will not claim to be an expert on this whole striper fishing texoma, but one thing we learned is just because you find fish doesn't mean they're hungry. So we're marking a few fish between 20 and 40 feet. Had a few bites, but there could be better out there, so. Stick it out a few more minutes. What you got there? Baby one. Catching dinks. Okay. It's still two. Did one. Better not catch it, Evan. <laughs> Fish. Oh, well, it wiped it with a fishing pole. Kill eight. Still right there at 33, about 33 feet. I've been hooking right to the nose hole. Yeah. Like that. They're still there, aren't they? Be home sweet home for the night. Got all of our camping gear. It feels good to get out of the wind. That lake is rough. It's like I'm wind burnt. What about you? Sorry. Not my hands cold. I'm ready for a brat. Let me see you tiptoe across these rocks, mister. Yeah. Slipped on a sticker. <laughs> I turned up for the camp. Them rocks down there are the real deal. I was like, I hope I don't have to get over here in a hurry. <laughs> oh, that was great. I got you a stick. <laughs> I'm like sticking a stick in a rock pile. Where did you get this? That stick come from hell. <laughs> it does have thorns on it. I know. Half her done stole my pole. I'm barefooted. She beat me to it. If I put this striper right here, it's a big old striper. Get him up here. Oh, it's a smallmouth, ain't it? Oh, that's a giant smallmouth. <laughs> that's a good smallmouth. Oh, that's cool. That's hilarious. Caught him on a live shad. <laughs> that's a huge, that's probably the biggest bass I've ever caught. That'll be the biggest smallmouth you ever catch. If you're married to me. I always heard there were some good ones in here. That's Same. A, I love how. Hold him over here. Look at that. That's a tank <laughs> for a smallmouth. That's crazy. So I could probably go two, two and a half pounds. Go a solid two for sure. That's funny. We got a picture of it. 
That's a tank of a small mouth. That's awesome. Okay. Cool. On a live shed. <laughs> Chunk. It's the first time we got to use our new cutting board. I feel like this is one of the best tasting freshwater fish we get to indulge in. Definitely in our area. Crappie and walleye. Mm. The best. Feed the gar. I'd like to know if anyone else has had striper or what your favorite striper recipe is. Some of the bigger fillets we can grill or just saute in a pan. Smaller pieces we usually do like a beer batter and fry it, of course. It's the best way to eat fish. Forgot that thing was leaking. on again. I heard the camp. What do you think it is? It feels like a catfish. No? What is it? It is big. Oh, what? What is it? A baby channel. Oh, and channel you got pet. my bait. Well, at least you got him some dinner tonight. Little guy. Well, off it goes. <laughs> was that I your last? Up to you. Oh, was that your last shad? No, I still have a tail. That might cut him in two pieces. He'd be swimming out there in the lake, getting the rest of them. <laughs> I am so pissed. I threw him away. <laughs> yeah, I should at least waited till dark. Where was this effort earlier today? We was trying to catch some striper. Redneck that's good at bank fishing, okay? <laughs> We're in a little cove, a little big part of the lake, hanging out out of the wind. Got the fire going for some breakfast. Just after daylight. Getting ready to eat some breakfast and go see if we can catch some more fish. Here comes the, the donk. Got it. She refuses to make more than one trip off the hill. You should see me carrying groceries. <laughs> <laughs> one trip. One trip. Yeah. Look like the world's strongest man coming in with the Walmart sack. <laughs> Go fishing.
is right at 42. Um, done for the day got the fish clean the boat rinsed off so we're headed back to the boat ramp so thanks for coming with us and we'll see you next time Adios.